hello all welcome back to our channel so students in this video we will discuss the unit 5 explanation uh, of or subject ma operations research in this ma uh, for problematic you are having two concepts first one is game theory second one is simulation okay so game theory is most important one definitely we can expect a game theory only okay but simulation is rarely they will ask and it is easy also so first we will discuss this uh, simulation ma okay so what is the sim sorry what is the simulation means so you can see here question they have given inter arrival time they have given probability they have given random numbers they have given okay so this is the question simple thing what we need to do means solution you need to add extra column that is cumulative column okay the extra column is cumulative probability how you need to do this cumulative probability the first probability whatever you are having 0.20 the first one will be same 0.20 0.20 plus 0.25 you will get 0.45 just add it to the next one so 0.20 0.25 plus 0.35 how much you will get 0.80 so 0 0.20 0 0.25 0 0.30 0.10 how much you'll get 0 0.90 so plus 0 0.08 if you are doing means 0 0.98 plus 0 0.2 means you will get 1 okay cumulative is nothing about adding values to the next value is called cumulative okay ma so next column you will have random numbers column what is the column name random numbers column so here first what you are having ma zero you are having so zero to 19 before number 19 sorry 20 before number is 19 next after 19 you will get 20 22 45 before number is 44 again 45 to 79 next 80 to 89 yes 90 to 97 okay so 98 to 1 is nothing about 100 so this is 100 no 100 previous number is 99 so like that you need to take the random numbers after this you need to draw the another table that is called time that is called time what is the random numbers they have given 12 12 where you will get ma in first one you will get no that is nothing about first arrival time 19 where you will get that is also first arrival time 81 you will get here that is nothing about 1 2 3 4 so fourth arrival time next 18 18 will come in first one so first arrival time 14 is also first one first arrival time 33 will come in second one so second arrival time so just add all this so 2 6 7 8 9 10 so total is 10 okay what is the formula simply we need to do, take that 10 divided by 1 hour so 10 divided by 60 in an hour how many uh, minutes you will have 60 so 10 divided by 60 so whatever the answer you are getting that is answer is your simulation got it so like that you need to do this simulation it is least important uh, sometimes we can expect this type of questions also for so for that cases i have uh, explained this okay uh, that's it ma. if you're having any doubts in simulation you can ask me in the comment section okay now we will go with the game theory so this game theory is most important those who want to prepare problematic from unit number five this game theory will be useful how this game theory will be done okay see here game theory what is the question y1 y2 y3 in here x1 x2 x3 got it so what are the values they have given 2 6 minus 1 8 9 12 7 3 7 13 and 6 simple thing what we need to do means we need to calculate saddle point ma. okay saddle point is nothing about in the question in this one just make sure you write like this you need to take the values minimum values minimum values in this row what is the least value minus 1 what is the least value 8 what is the least value 6 okay least values you need to take in a row in this case in this all these three what is the maximum value 8 what is the highest number is 8 
so now here also you need to take like that only in down also so here you have taken minimum no here you should take maximum so in this column what is the maximum value 8 maximum number 13 maximum number 12 so in this what is the minimum 8 if this is getting equaled like row saddle point and column saddle point is getting equaled so saddle point is there so saddle point is how much is there is equaled so next what you need to write it means value of game is 8 it's because 8 we are heading you know so the value of game is 8 so 8 whatever x player is having in the second one y player he is having in the first column y player he is having in the first column so here what you need to write is therefore the strategy of strategy of x player x player in a row where it is having x in second row x player is second okay the strategy of y player for y player he is having in the first column only no he is first therefore it will get a 2 comma 1 that's it this is 8 marks answer okay if saddle point is equal to means then only by this we can end this answer okay so based on this ma just do this question okay this is the saddle point will be there let me know your answer in the comment section this is your homework problem easy problem homework problem you can easily do it so you can ask me a question okay saddle point is equal what if saddle point is not equal okay what if saddle point is not equal what we need to do what we need to do means see here if a saddle point is not equal means we are having three methods to do that question that is called mixed strategy what are the three methods we can use algebraic method we can use graphical method we can use simplex method when we can use algebraic method means a question should contain only two rows two columns okay a question should contain only two rows and two columns if it is not containing two rows and two columns then you can't use this algebraic method next if you want to use graphical method in your question at least either you should have two rows or two columns two rows and n number of columns also you can have or else many many rows and minimum two two columns it should have in that circumstance only you can use graphical method in simplex method right now uh, we are not doing just ignore this simplex method for your final examination ma you just learn this algebraic method and graphical method especially algebraic method so how you need to do this algebraic method for example compulsory there should be having like this only no so here i have done a question see here there is two rows and two columns two rows two columns first we need to check saddle point how you will check saddle point so here minimum values what is the minimum minus 8 minus 6 okay minimum values in a row what is the maximum minus 6 will be your maximum so here maximum you need to check it so 12 maximum is 4 what is the minimum here 4 saddle point is not equal there is no saddle point that time if saddle point is not there we can use any methods so two rows two columns is this there no so that's why we can use algebraic method okay we can use algebraic method so to do this algebraic method we are having formulas what is the formulas x1 formula y1 formula and v formula just make sure you learn this formula and you need to substitute it in the formula so what is this a22 a21 means see here first 12 will become a first row first column a first row second column a12 this minus 6 will become a second row first column a21 this 4 will become second row second column a11 a12 a21 a22 you are having the values so a11 value is a11 value is 12 a12 value is minus 8 a21 value is minus 6 a22 value is 4 so you are getting this values in the question only 
simple what we need to do we need to substitute in the formula just you need to substitute in the formula it will be okay okay so a22 minus a21 divided by a11 plus a22 minus a12 plus a21 if you are doing means you will get x1 value you will get y1 value you will get v value that's it answer is over again you should not do any saddle point anything okay so graphical method i will explain on the screen ma so there is something called dominance rule okay so there is something called what is this dominance rule means this dominance rules what it will do means it will convert your question into two rows and two columns simple means that is the thing about the for example you are having five rows and five columns okay saddle point is not there you want to do this in algebraic method but there is a rule that in algebraic method if you want to do means either it should it should get be two rows and two columns but here you are having five rows and five columns what this dominance rule will do means it will deduct that question into two rows and two columns two rows and two columns it will deduct it okay it will do the deduction so how you need to do this uh, dominance rule i will explain now right now algebraic method is clear now i will explain graphical method then i will go with the dominance theory okay on the screen i will explain now ma just whatever i have done the homework just just be conscious about that and further doubts if you are having means let me know in the comment section okay so this is graphical method ma when we will use graphical either it should have two rows either it should have two columns okay so here in this question ma here you are having two rows and four columns so we can use this question uh, if there is no saddle point we can use this question in graphical method okay so first you are seeing minimum maximum and maximum minimum and there is no saddle point saddle point is not there okay so how you need to do next thing what you need to do means take the graph okay after taking the graph just you should make a middle of the graph you should make two lines so this will become your positive values positive values negative values and negative values and middle of the graph you will get zero and zero okay as you can see in the screen okay what you are having over here like this you need to take the values so x is 1 y is 2 plus 1 and plus 2 so x is 1 y is 2 so like this you are getting a column like that okay next to 4 1 4 is on x 1 is on this side so 4 1 like this okay next to minus 2 plus 4 minus 2 means here minus 2 plus 4 okay next one minus 3 plus 5 like this okay just we have allotting the values in the graph paper after allotting the values wherever the line get intersected where the lines are intersected see here this line is intersected no that line you should take it okay what are the values 1 2 4 1 1 4 like this you need to take it okay in this horizontal way you need to take it 1 4 2 1 so after getting this 1 4 and 2 1 just convert this into again in graphical uh, and again you need to convert this into the algebraic method okay 1 4 2 1 2 rows two columns so you need to convert this into the algebraic method so this is about the graphical method ma now i'll explain the uh, dominance rule dominance theory okay how we need to do dominance theory means in step number one you need to take the row deduction how you need to take the row deduction means in each row whatever is the uh, least value see this is the question okay so this is the question ma so first thing what you need to do row deduction we need to do it means we need to compare each row how many rows you are having four rows you are having r1 r2 r3 and r4 so r1 should get uh, compared to r2 r1 to r3 and r1 to r4 also so here you are having three here also you are having three so both are equal there is no point next r1 and r3 no so here you are having 3 here you are having 4 what is the least one you are having r1 is the least one yes so that's why we are keeping one point over here so like that wherever we will get least volume no like that you need to deduct it ma okay so same after row deduction you need to 
check the column deduction also so c1 c2 c3 c4 c1 should get compared to c2 c1 should get compared to c3 and c1 should get compared to c4 also here wherever the column will have maximum value will get one point in row minimum value got one point no but in column maximum value will get one point okay so minimum maximum okay after this again uh, you will convert after getting all that row reduction column reduction row reduction column reduction like that you will get the final answer two rows and two columns after getting two rows and two columns simply you need to convert that into the algebraic method that's it okay i hope that you have got clarity if you are having any further doubts let me know in the comment section especially algebraic method is important ma dominance rule is nothing about the row reduction column reduction okay row reduction least value will get one point column reduction highest value will get one point okay so like that you need to deduct all your rows and columns so after that you need to convert it into the algebraic method i hope that you have got clarity if you are having any further doubts let me know in the comment section all the best see you all in the next video bye bye students